Okay. What is the first question? Here, you can see here asking about write a C program. Okay. Write a C program to read an integer between 1 to 12. There should be an integer between 1 to 12. So there should be, we can input keyboard input 1, 2, 3, 4, likewise from uh, 4 to the 12 and read the month of the year in English. Okay. You after do this one, you should be give the output likewise. If you print like six, you should uh, output get like a June likewise. Okay. If you print it like one, you should get the output like a January likewise. Okay. So how to do this? I tell you try to get this output by using what switch statement. No, we can use switch statement there. How to use switch statement for this? I use notepad for typing. I think it is very useful for beginners for using Notepad as Notepad uh, platform for doing this one. Okay, first of all, I use hash include what? stdio.h. Okay, first of all, I use had hash include stdio for h. What is this? It is the standard input output header file. No, I use standard input output header file there. So here the main scope. I use main function for describe the main scope. Okay, it should be. I use integer main function for describe the main scope. I use curly bracket for showing the scope. Your all program should be in between these two curly brackets. Okay. Your all program should be in should be it meet be these two curly bracket. Okay. It's about the well had the program make a copy scope at the no name okay. The curly brackets take a matter. Okay, so I take the integer variables for uh, some something like uh, I use integer uh integer m n o month of likewise okay i use integer variables uh, like m n o month number uh, likewise okay and there should be i use print a function for printing something if you want to print something i uh, use the print a function for printing something there should be i use uh, what is the case i use uh, backslash n and I type like uh, input something, input a number, input a number between 1 to 12. Likewise, okay. You can do anything in the within the printf function. So I wanted to scan something. So they are, I use the scanf for keyboard input. I use scanlef function for adding a keyboard input there. So that case I use scanlef. There should be a decimal number, no? There should be a keyboard input. There should be a decimal number. So I use percentage and D for adding the decimal number. The decimal number should be M N O. Decimal number should be the the integer variable it should be a m n o likewise okay this is the decimal number okay after that i use uh, and i explained before i use switch case for these 12 months okay switch case is depend on what variable m n o so in the bracket i use m n o there this is a, another scope no this is this should be so which case is another scope so i use there another what curly bracket there okay when we are using curly bracket please try to do this one when we are opening curly bracket you should close the curly bracket after that you type the scope within this curly bracket okay these are the good habits if we are trying to do these things like this you never missing any any cases in between is this, okay? So I use case one there. I use case one 
case one as what? There should be a print date should be January, like us, okay? When we are printing number one, there should be a print date January. So I use case one for there, I use print date function. So I use January there, okay? There should be print in January. So I use January for case one. Okay, January. And there should be a new line statement. So I use backslash new line. Backslash for new line. After that, it should be break. So I use break, break statement there, okay? Likewise, you can copy and paste these things. Case one, case two, case three, up to case two, no. I copy and paste this, it is easy. Case two, and next case three, case four. Okay, any doubts? Up to case two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. Okay, case two should be February. I use the case two as a February. February. And the case three should be March. I use March, March there. Yeah. Case three there. Case four should be April. Okay. And the case five should be May. And the case six should be May and June. June and next July. And next July, August. And after that, September. After that, October. And next, November. And finally, there should be December. Okay, and also I use default value. Default should be if there if these cases not using another number like 15, 16, not suitable value, there should be a default one. Default one also depend on when actually a wrong input, no. Actually, in the wrong input, there should be a default one. You so we use default variable. It should be what? I take it uh, as uh, print is something. Print f. It should be please input number between one to twelve. No, likewise a message. No, input a number between one to twelve. One to twelve. Okay, likewise. This is the default value. After that, there should be now this is copy is over. So curl bracket should be closed here. I use what? I use 
main function as a integer so there should be a return a number return zero there for a integer value okay likewise i will save this one if you use command prompt i will show an extra thing we can use command prompt to run in this things okay did anyone know how to use command prompt command prompt did anyone know how to use command prompt this is additional thing you do not uh, do not need these things okay you can only do by using quizy application i use this one for additional thing you can use command prompt in the command prompt i can use cd function for change directory okay change directory means we can if you want to go to the uh, desktop if you want to go to the c drive you we can use change directory and i wanted to go to desktop so i go to the cd desktop by using change directory command and next i wanted to go to c files so i create a folder named c files in the desktop uh, desktop is c files ke folder ek hadala thiyena elisa man use kara cd c files now i am in the c files folder in the desktop now i saving my document as what i saving my document as file so i compile this one using gcc compiler okay so using the gcc compiler this is my, my one it it is rename as file.c i try to get the compile this one and using gcc file.c backslash o and file likewise if there are any error you can see this okay look at that there is a error like this uh, not not such file okay so there's uh, no file likewise you can uh, do this this i will explain you can uh, this is okay okay now you can see this is a code no i wanted to compile this one by using quincy application there are no error okay after that i will run in this one okay now you can see there's a number between type a number between 1 to 12 no there's a you can see there's a input number between 1 to 12 so i at number like 6 you can see there's a output okay i think you got the point likewise you can get the output like this try to get this this way. i think it is easy for you okay try to start second one second one is write the c program that print all even numbers between 1 to 50 there should be printing even numbers okay there should be printing even numbers even numbers means what is what are the even numbers even numbers means i think you are know what are the even numbers 1 to 50 what are the even number you can print not a odd number even number should be divided by 2 properly 2 4 6 8 10 likewise up to 50 no okay 1 to 50 between 1 and 50 so it finished with uh, from 48 no you can printing even numbers like this okay so what do you do there should be use loop we can use a loop okay we can use a, uh, any loop uh, why do i loop for loop anything okay i use follow there okay i use a follow it should be starting from yeah first of all you should uh, declare some variable i use integer y likewise okay it should be starting from one it should be starting from one it there is a condition call what there is a con condition call what should be it is finishing from 50 okay 
it should be finishing from 50 and also there should be a condition what should be there should be increment by one by one okay there should be an increment this value by one so i use i plus plus for increment is something okay so this is the main thing they are should be printing all the this is a rough one okay i'll tell you only how to do this they are should be printing only what only they are should be printing only even numbers so the all the numbers should be divided by two properly okay all the numbers should be divided by two properly so you can use what percentage mark for what remainder you can get the remainder the remainder of divide by two should be what zero remainder remainder to should be divided by two these number should be zero they can be the bohamak mogadai no ni value a kabil no ke no ni ni so we can use remainder so i what percentage mark two should be equal to i use not i use two equal mark assignment and equal should be zero there should be another curly bracket for print this some these things okay likewise so so try to start this one second one quickly okay so here look at this first of all i include the standard input in output header file okay so there should be Did you see properly? There should be, there should be integer main function, no? There should be integer main function. So I use what? Integer main function and parenthesis for declaring the function, okay? I use integer main function for declaring this main function. After that, I wanted to print this something, okay? This is the scope. After enter in what main function i declare the scope by curly bracket when now when we are use the scope please type the return value also there okay scope return value after that i use print a function for typing something so here i type even numbers between 1 to 50 okay likewise okay i type in even number between 1 to 50 inclusive okay properly in the ascending order so here i use integer i integer i variable for decrement these things okay i use integer i variable for decrement increment some value so first of all i i assignment assign to one after that there should be a condition condition should be i should be less than or equal to 50 and I use I plus plus value. I plus plus mean I should be increment by one, by one, by one, likewise. So, okay. When we are incrementing this I, one to 50, there should be a, another condition. It should be check the, this remainder of the I. When we are divide by two, okay. The remainder of the I, when we are divide by two, it should be what? Zero. It should be the zero. Now you can see, when we are divide by i, it should be zero. If it if it is equal to zero, it number this number should be printed. No zero uno titrai print karan no ni. Ehem naatta ek print karlo ad. Naat deke bedala zero uno titrai print karan no ni. When it is equal to zero, it should be printing. After I take some space for tab, you see tab value and there should be a decimal number. This decimal number should be the I. After I close this if uh, statement there and I close the ball loop there by the curl bracket after returning this zero value. This is the condition, okay? I think this is okay. Now I save this one. Now I try to run this one using command from Okay, I run in this one. You see, come on, bro. Look at this. 
Okay. I try to run in this one using command from CMD. And there should be, I wanted to compile this one. I use a GCC compiler, it is doesn't know. Okay. Now I run in this one. Okay. When I run in this one, you can see the output printed like this. Okay. Output is printed like this. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. Up to 50. Okay. You can see this output is printed like this. I think you got the point. You can run also the Quincy platform there. Okay. What is the third one? Write a C program in a C to find the square number of any using function. Okay. You should using a function there. Okay. You should using a function there. And there should be find the square number of any keyboard input. When we are using input tree, there should be output three by three, nine. Okay. When you are using four, four by four, 16. Likewise, you can get the output by using a function. Okay. Try to do this one now. Okay. Here you can see I use, first of all, what I can use. Mainly, I can use include standard input output uh, file there. Here, I use a function, okay? I use a function for get the square number, okay? So I use square function there, okay? I use the square, function name square there. So that case, I would like to pass in integer n value between this function, okay? There should be a pass in n value in between this function. What function? Square function. In, first of all, I'll explain the main function. So here, I explain the main function. This main function is, so, is there. In the main function, I declare two variables. What are two variables? You can uh, declare other things, okay? I declare two variables. First one is num variable and the result variable, okay? There should be a printed something. I just explained entirely number likewise. Okay, you can use another thing. Now I want I wanted to input keyboard input. That should be a any number. Okay, any number for get the output of the output of the square number. So there I use scalar function for input any number. There should be ampersand num for keyboard input. Okay that integer number variable there. There should be input integer number variable. So I use scanf uh, percentage D for decimal uh, any number there. And after that, I use ampersand N for declaring this number. After I wanted to get the result. Re result should be the square function number, okay? Result should be the this in square function. So before I explain this one, I explain this square function. Square function should be display the integer uh, result value. So I take the integer result variable in rest like this. This rest value should be entire name. If you are uh, press enter e tree, it should be file result value should be three times three, it should be nine, okay? Result, if you are entering uh, five, it should be result value should be five times five. Five times five means it should be 25, okay? Likewise, you can get the final output. So I take the score value. I wanted to get the score value of n number. So uh, it should be take the result variable, rest like, then now rest value should be n type n. And finally, it should be returned in this result value, okay? Within the score function, in score function do, finally get the result variable. Result variable should be equal to n time n, the number time num. After that, it should be return the return value. Now, I take the score variable. Now I pass this 
is square variable in the main function. Okay, I pass in this is square variable in the main function. So I take the result as the square number. Square number. Okay. Now I print in this one. The square of the number d. Number d means keyboard input. No, it should be equal to d. What is this d? This d that num variable when we are using keyboard input. After the other d is the result variable. Result variable get by the square function. Finally return the uh, main function. Okay. I understand this one. Now try to get the output by using this code also. Okay. If you have any doubt, you can copy and paste this code. Okay, now we start the fourth one. Fourth one is store information of a student. Information of a student and display it using a structure. Using a structure. Did you remember structure? You can use a structure function. You can use a structure function for structure, okay? There should be a what? There should be a several things you can store integer name, name there. You can use a student name include there. And other, you can use student role, role number likewise, okay? What is the role number? One, two, three, likewise you can include roll there okay you can include roll there and you can include uh, what you can include marks there okay likewise you can include something there and get the output by using a structure okay using a structure so try to start to do this one okay try to do this one Okay, first of all, you can uh, include standard input output there. And I create a struct student. Okay, I create a structure, it name student. Okay, I create a structure as what? A student, a student. I create a structure, a student. There are three main things. You can include another, another things. Okay, it's in your opinion. I uh, include three main things. What are the three main things? I include name there. I include role there. And I include marks there. Okay. I include name, role, and marks there. Okay. I included their name, role, and marks. So here my main function. I include my main function. This is the scope, my, scope of my main function. I create a structure a student as S. This is structure a student as S. Okay, simple form, no? So it is easy for me. When I type is student, a student dot, a student dot, likewise, it is easy to uh, introduce this student structure as S. So I the, introduce this student structure as S. So first of all, Print the entire information likewise. Some something for uh, uh, doing this programming. Okay. First of all, I uh, print printing uh, using print function for enter your name. Okay. Here I use enter name likewise for entering your name. After that, I use scan a function for scan a function. For entering your name, name should be what? A string variable, no? It should be a string, uh, anyhow, a string or uh, char variable. Ne? So I use um, uh, percentage S mark for there. Okay? I use percentage S mark for there because it is a integer variable. Okay? And so what is I use percentage S mark for I use a structure of a student's name. So I what is the structure? The structure is now it is S. So I wanted to display the name of this structure. So I use S dot name for a structure a student name. So I use 
just uh, not a uh, just a name i use s dot name s dot name is the structure of the name structure student name okay structure student name make a mention karan on is otherwise s dot name kila gante ni kamma name ekak neme okay so i before i uh, mentioning what structure student is now i input something something for my structure student name okay and i wanted to print my roll number of the structure student is so i use what is roll number what is the roll number roll is roll roll number is the decimal value so i use d variable there okay i use d variable there oh my god this please in there i use decimal d variable there oh sorry <laughs> first of all what i create a structure a student there i create a structure a student there so there should be three main things what is name roll number and the marks okay i create this structure a student as the structure a student as the rename it as the s okay so here i use structure a student as a name is so now structure a student i denote denoted as a s okay now i wanted to print something first of all i wanted to print the structure a student name so i use print a function enter name there and there should be get this uh, scale a function for input something no? so i use structure name for there i use s dot name there okay and next i wanted to input scale a function for structure roll number it's it should be a decimal value so i use percentage g and i use s, s roll number there s roll and next i use a scan a function for input but marks of this structure is so i use s dot s dot marks for that function okay s dot marks for that function now i get the keyboard input for something my structure now i want to display this things i can display these things display information first of all it should be name name is structure name yes and print if the roll number it should be structure of student roll number s dot roll and the finally it should be display the print uh, print function by using uh, what structure student marks so i use s s dot marks there okay here the main things now you can notice this one okay try to get this one finally i will uh, build this one no errors now i am running this one build this one and running this one okay now you can see there are no errors there are no errors now i run in this one first of all i enter my name anything you can enter i here i i guess okay enter name roll number i yes to marks should be 25 okay likewise finally display this things okay now you can see the final output types i think you got the point okay try to get the next one it is a what develop the above program to get five students details of five students same one there should be get the details of five students okay there should be get the details of five students using array and print them okay get the five student details and using array and try to print them okay now start to get this one it is the extend of the last practical okay it is the same one extend of the last practical it is actually extend of the last practical there should be a five students okay you can use another follow for it
you can do it okay it is actually a same thing i will send the code okay you are, if you didn't work it with the scan if you can use the gets function no okay you can get the gets function if it is not working using the scan if okay okay do it at the home okay it is uh, doing it at the home now move to the next next one because anyhow we have a have not of time okay now move to the sixth one please ek try karanna passe avulat na okay how will ek try karamu da write a c for write a program to add two number using pointers okay using a pointers try to get the try to write the program to add two numbers using pointers okay did you remember pointers pointers means actually a memory allocation no pointer is actually a memory allocation so there should be a two or three memory allocation if you want you can get the temporary memory allocation also but they are not so pin no we only want we can get only to get this by only two memory allocation no you can get this one you seen two memory allocation try to get this output sixth one okay there should be what i will including what there should be there should be i take here integer num1 and num2 okay there can be take two variable integer num1 and num2 likewise okay this can be the two variable you can take also what integer pointer variables for number 1 and number 2 you have to get the two memory allocation no so you have to declare two memory allocation what are the two memory allocation pointer 1 ptr1 any name okay i take ptr1 for number 1 memory allocation and ptr2 for number 2 memory allocation integer ptr1 for number 1 memory allocation ptr2 for number 2 memory allocation okay now this memory allocation now you are create place for number 1 okay. you are create place for number 1 memory allocation for a space no you create a house for number 1 okay this is house for number 1 it is taken as ptr1 yeah and the number 2 you create a place for number 2 it is taken as number 2 now you have to move this one for the number was number 1 place you have to move this one for number 2 means understand so you have to do what this ptr1 is equal to what ptr1 should equal to number one so number one memory allocation no this pointer no number one memory allocation so you can use ampersand marks there here also you can use ptr2 for number two memory allocation so it should be equal to ampersand number two num2 likewise you can take these two variables into their houses okay actually the memory allocation the ptr1 stored the address of memory number one and the ptr2 stored the address of number two after that now you are assigned these two find the variables for your variables okay now you can print f print f and get the summation of these things okay. okay try to get this one finally you can get the sum sum or anything okay i use sum sum can be take the ptr1 
is actually equal to number one or now and sum of the pdr2 okay. this is the final one okay try to get the out output like this These are the main things. Now, try to get the output. First of all, I include the header file, standard input output, and this is the score of integer main, and the return is zero, okay? And first of all, I declare to variable integer number one, and number two, and also for summation as the sum, okay? I get three variables there, integer number one, number two, and the sum. First of all, I take two places, memory addresses for integer one and integer two, I create two houses for them, for leaving them, okay? I take first one address of this one, PDR1, and the address of uh, second one, PDR2, okay? Memory allocation as uh, like uh, address of our house, anything house, okay? Likewise, okay? Now, I create two places for them. First of all, I initiate, initialize this PDR1, PDR1 as the number one, okay? This place for number one. I initialize the, this one for number one, PDR2 for number two, okay? I initialize these two, number one and number two. And now I create two variables. I initialize these places for number one and number two, okay? I use ampersand for initialize memory allocation because these are the pointers, no? I use ampersand mark for initiate these two memory allocation. Now, I'm printing something, enter any two numbers likewise, okay? First of all, I use scanf function for printing number one. And number two, likewise, printing anything. I use scanf for printing number two. Okay. After that, you can get the sum of memory allocation of PDR1 and the PDR2. You can get the sum of plus PDR1 and PDR2. Finally, you can get the printf function sum of two numbers okay finally you get the printf function by using it that one sum of two numbers okay likewise it should be the sum of these two sum is pdr1 and pdr2 likewise you can get the final output okay now i try to build this one okay there are no errors so I run in this one, okay? Now I run in this one. Okay, I run in this one. First of all, I... Type number one. Number one as 20. Number two as 50. 15, so summation of sum is equal to 35. Okay. Likewise, you get the, you can get the output. I think you got the point. First of all, initiate two variable, number one and number two, and also the sum, okay? I initiate also to memory allocation for number one and number two, create two houses for them. Okay, now PTR1 is equal for number one memory allocation and PTR2 is equal for number two memory allocation. And I get the keyboard input as the number one, as the PTR1, because now it is initiated for PTR1. And I get number two, it is as the PTR2, because now we number two is initiate for number PDR2. After that, I get the sum function, sum is 
equal to PTR1 and PTR2, summation of PTR1 and PTR2. You can get the output like this, okay? Likewise, you can get the final output like this, okay? Next one, write the program in a C to get the maximum number from two numbers using the function, okay? You wanted to get maximum number. There can be two numbers, okay? You can take two variables there, no? What are two variables? Number one and number two. Because there are two numbers. Elisa, mama gatta number one and number two. I can get two variables. First of all, I can get two variables. It should be number one and number two. Okay. First of all, you plan this one. After that, you can do this one, okay? I take number one and number two variables. Variables. What are the variables? There should be number one and number two. There should be number one and number two. And other, there should be a variable called max, maximum number. No? I create another variable max, likewise, okay? So, first of all, there should be a create a, another function also, okay? Okay. First of all, you can take this uh, variable as integer variables, okay? Numbers, ni. and you can take this one, print a function and a scan a function. Print a function, a scan a function for get the number one and number two, okay? And I take any name, you can take any name, any name, A, B, number one, number two, any, any, anything, okay? And I wanted to get maximum number. So that case, I create another function for get the maximum number, okay? I create another function for get the maximum number. There should be passing two argument within this function. What are the argument? There should be number one and number two passing this maximum function in between this argument. What are the argument? integer number one and also number two. Number two. These are the two arguments integer. No? Integer number two. Uh, passing this within this uh, max, max uh, function. Okay. Now try to do this one. Try to run now. These are the main things. Ne? These are the main things. Ne? These are the main things. Try to get the output. Okay, first of all, you can include what is standard input output. So there should be, I create a, another function. Okay, that function I called as a integer max function. Okay, max function. There should be passing two argument. What are the two argument? Integer number one and the integer number two. Okay. Within the max function, I create, I wanted to pass two arguments. These two arguments are integer number one and also the integer number two. Okay, there should be passing two arguments like this. Now, first of all, I create main function. There should be returning zero value. Now, when I declare a main function, uh, in before I create something for what? Max function. There are, I may create something for max function. There should be one. There should be get uh, 
another variable called result for get the final output. Okay, I create integer result for get the final output. And also the integer max function, there are running two variables in between two max, max function. What are the two variables? Integer number one and integer number two. Okay, now what happening? The max function is created like this. This actually not needed to create a max function. Here, mentioning create a function, no? Function hadal ke la kila dinon ekai max kila function lega the, okay? Max function lega na to main function lega asal mo dalaw karan na tiba, okay? Now I create the max function. So there should be declared two variable integer number one and integer number two, and I wanted to get the final result integer result, okay? Now if the number one and num number one greater than number two. What happening? Number one is the biggest number. Bigger number. If the number one is greater than number two, number one should be the greater number. So now I wanted to display the greater number. So result is equal to greater number, the number one. If the number two is greater than number one, what happening? The result should be, what happening? Should be number two. If the number one is greater than number two, it should be display the number one. Anyhow, otherwise, it should be display the number two. Yeah. So finally, I wanted to display this result value. I wanted to display this result value. So I use what? Return result value. Okay. I display result value. So I use return return re, return result value there. Okay. This is actually happening in what? Max function. This is actually happening in the max function. Max function, okay. This is for max function. Okay. This is actually for max function. So max function is working like this. Okay. This is the max function. After that, I initialize this max function for the what? main function. I wanted to initialize this max function for the main function. So I go back for the main function. There should be initialized this max function in the main function. Okay. Now I initialize another two variables for display number one and number two. So I take that number one and number two in the main function. No, Main function again number one, number two. Sorry, max function again. So I wanted to display this number one and number two in the also the way uh, in the main function. So I create two names for number one and number two. I denote the, these two names as A and B and also the max as the max number. Okay, in the main function, I denote three names for uh, before number one, number two, and the max. I take these three as the A, B, and the max number. Okay. Now, treat the two variables. First of all, number one, you see, it is I take it as A low. So it is at decimal number and A. I take the number two, it should be taken as B. Finally, I create two numbers, number one and number two. Now I pass in this, what? This max number, max number as the, what is, according to this, what, function. I take max number, max num as according to this function. What is this function? It function, take the integer number and number two. I take num one as the A, and the, these are two for uh, parameters, arguments. What are the arguments? Number one and number two. I take it as the, what? A and B, I pass in these parameters for my maximum function, maximum variable as the max function, using max function. It is taken as A and B. Finally, I print in these things. Okay. I finally print in this A and return value. Okay. These are the main things. Little bit confusing, no? I try to get the output, okay, successful building, building this one.
and get the final output. Get the final output in the two values. What are two values I get? Two numbers, no? First number as 40, second number as 30. What is the biggest number is 40. It should be 40, likewise, okay. You can get the output like this. Okay. It will be confusing, I think you got the point, okay. Okay, here first of all, I include the main function, include standard input output here, and here also, but there is an array, and also there should be a function. So I create an array. I create an array as a max, okay? And it's, there should be a, another function, okay? Max and the function. Okay, try to do this. Here I take uh, another uh, function, it name as the max function, okay? So there should be passing uh, argument, I take it as an integer, it should be array. So I take the bracket, square bracket like this, okay? And there should be a main function. In between main function, we can uh, passing all the things, but, I take the max function. I explain the max function before it. I explain max function like this. There should be max function. Look at this one. Max function, max function should be what happening. I create a max function. There should be the passing integer array. Okay. The integer I take passing array value. I take integer i. It should be starting from the one, okay? And I take another one, integer max element, max LA, likewise, okay? So this max element should start from array number zero, okay? This max element should start from the array number zero. Now, while I wanted to uh, introduce how many values, there should be five values likewise, okay? Largest element, I wanted to st storage five values. So I should be running after zero to four. There should be five, no? zero to four. Uh, while I should be increased while the five. If, if the max element is less than I, there should be print in the max element. Otherwise, and also there should be the increment I1 I1, I by one, okay? There should be increase I by one. And also return in this max element. The value should be returned, okay? This max element, finally max array, integer array value should be returned in there by using the max function. By using the max function, it should be returned in there. After that, now, this is the actually happening in max function, okay? These are the actually happening in the max function. Now this max function should be denoted to main function, okay? Now the max function should be denoted to main function. Now I go to the main function. It should be denoted this max function for the main function. Now it's happening like this. This is my main function. Main function do, should be okay. Now happening my uh, now my main function is like this. Now main function should be working like this. There should be twenty like this. The get the largest element of array, uh, array like this. Anything, anything you can print it like this. And another thing for input the elephant for. Uh, denote some message, you can fit it like this. So there should be integer value starting from zero, it should be increment while five, okay? Integer zero value, it should be increment while five. 
there should be first of all you can uh, print a element it should be i and the there should be scan f for the this i value it should be actually in the array value now i create another one here max num it max num is equal for max array okay I wanted to get max maximum number. It should be equal to the last. Finally, I initialize max array. Okay. Now, finally, you can print printers print this element. Okay. You can print this one. Okay. This is actually happening. I think I a little bit pass. Okay. I will send you these things again, again, again for you. Okay. Recording the analysis. And now you can see there can be error. Oh. You can see there can be error, but I type in this one in the notepad. Look at this one. There can be errors in the uh, uh, Quincy platform. I write this one in the notepad. Look at this one. I create this one in the notepad. And I try to get this one by GCC. OK. I compile this one. Actually, happening whatever, there are no errors. OK. You can see. Get the largest element of the array. You can see, get the largest element of the array like this. Okay. You can type uh, some element. First of all, I type 45 and 10, 20, 65, 80. Likewise, I get four element. Now, the largest element of this array should be 80. No? This is the largest one. No? You can get the largest element like this, okay? Likewise, you can get the final output. There can be some error in the Quincy platform. I first of all, I will explain that these errors can be coming. So you can I actually I preferred uh, rather than Quincy, you can use code block uh, VS Code editing, okay? It is better rather than using Quincy, no? Okay. This is the final output. Okay. I think you got the point again. These are the main things and you can get the final output. Okay. There should be as SM2 employees. Okay. There should be two employees. There should be two employees. And also there should be employee name, ID, total work covered and Amount he received for hour. Okay. You see the structure. After that, you see amount receiving hour and according that work in hours, you can get the final calculated salary for a particular months. Okay. Final salary according that one. Okay. That happening. There should be a functions. There should be a functions because we have to pass it these things only using a function. No? And also there should be a structure. There should be a structure, okay? Little bit harder because this is the last question, no? It should be harder, no? Okay. Try to get the output. Okay. First of all, there should be a include the standard input output header file there. And I use a structure for employee, okay? I create a structure for employee. There should be name, ID, work hours, per, uh, per hour salary, and the final salary. Uh, name should be char value, ID should be, what? ID should be integer value, work hours should be integer also, float value for hour value, and the final salary, okay? Then now I wanted to get the salary by using this element. So I use another function for get the salary. Okay. It should be integer. Yeah, there should be passing integer hours and the final salary. No, hours value and the final salary according to hour rate. Okay. Hour rate according to hour rate. I can create the final salary. Okay. There should be two arguments passing this. Plot salary. Okay. Now there should be integer main function. There are several, several things. Before I explain the main function, I will explain the what? That salary function. 
salary function should be if you pay one hour 20 uh, 200 you can get 400 for two hours you can get uh, 300 for uh, 600 for three hours likewise you can get the salary okay if you can if you calculate total hours in the month you can get the total salary by multiplying these ones no if you get the total hours you can calculate the total salary multiply multiplying these two values okay so i get to variable integer house and the integer rupees plot rupees so final result so i wanted to get the final result result should be equal to multiple of these two values okay result should be equal to multiple of these two values so i get the, these two values multiple of these two values now i wanted to denote this salary according to the main function okay now i wanted to denote this salary to the main function so there should be structure employee employee as the e so enter the employee details here so i should be started from zero there are two values so it should be less than or equal to it should be i plus plus so first of all you can print name so there should be array so e i dot name uh, before i uh, before i structures uh, mentioned structures there and there should be a printed id printed work hours and also the amount okay likewise you can uh, denote this one for file salary salary should be equal to salary dot work and hour work hours multiplied by the for per hour salary okay these are the main things okay so i can get this value by using for loop because there are two values no so i use for loop for denoted these two values okay so integer j0 it should be increment till 2 okay so there are mentioned two values there okay likewise we can get the final output so there can be also can be taken error sequence yeah there can be some error sequence so i use again for what this platform notepad okay i use notepad i save this one and i run in it by in the command prompt okay now you can see i run in this one in the command from when i compile in this one you can see uh, there are no errors no errors there so i run in this one first of all uh employee name i create a name id is zero one okay work and hour five hours amount four hours thousand rupees okay likewise name two i take name two uh, d, 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 okay and uh, id is two work hour uh, six amount is one thousand two hundred rupees okay so first employee salary is thousand by multiple by five so it should be five thousand and second one is uh, 1200 multiplied by 6 it should be 7200 okay likewise you can get the final output okay try to do this things okay at home again these are the quick recap of the your functions arrays and uh, what structures like this uh, pointers all these are happening in this code okay okay now uh, after this uh, you should again doing these things okay take one hour and two hour again doing these things after that you can get a good knowledge okay i will uh, send this recording again okay so i will wind up the session here